Hello, um, so I want to show you a little trick uh, about skinning in Akitsu um, that I use a lot uh, to get clean deformations uh, with ease. So um, uh, for this character, uh, as you can see here in the tree, I've got several uh, meshes. So um, what I want to show you is how to connect uh, this mesh to this one. So if I move this guy here, okay, you can see that this mesh is not connected um, to this one. But when I uh, rotate my arm or uh, translate it, it fits perfectly. So how can you do this? Um, the trick is pretty simple, in fact. Um, you only have to, um, to make a, uh, how to say this, a solid mesh. Uh, so you, you weld points um, here. So it can be a, a simple uh, plane, um, but to, to have uh, more accurate results with uh, my character, I've made a uh, garment that uh, fits this uh, Jedi. Um, so then the goal will be to um, either uh, start your skinning on this, uh, like I did for this character, of course, I made a, a fully uh, quad mesh and uh, made my skin on this and then transferred um, my weights on this uh, character. But uh, you can also import uh, your character um, like this, so with separated parts. Um, try to skin the best you can. And once the skinning is done, you can transfer this to a um, solid mesh like this. Uh, fix the uh, intersection areas and uh, then transfer back the skinning to the uh, original mesh. Um, also, an important point ab about uh, this uh, helper mesh is uh, the uh, cloth thickness. Here, is, if you look closer at the um, uh, sleeves, you can see that uh, they have some thickness. So, in fact, if I select it here, yeah. You can see that I have some faces here, some faces here, and if you skin this um, manually, uh, you will probably end up with um, uh, mistakes, uh, with faces penetrating uh, each other, and, and it's pretty bad. So the way to avoid uh, that is uh, to use a, a single um, uh, side mesh, like this. So this way, both um, in and the outer faces will um, get the same weight and you, you, you will have uh, some intersections at some point if you really deform the, the mesh but it should be pretty okay for most, um, most of your posings. So how do we proceed about uh, transferring weights? So you have uh, several techniques. Um, the first one um, can be to uh, replace automatically the model. So, I will do it um, quickly. Um, so let's say I want to um, to replace um, this mesh and the body. So I have to select this one and this one here. Okay, it's cool. Then I will control click there. Okay, and you can see that in the skin atelier, I've got this little uh, icon that shows up. Okay, if I select and select, okay, this is just a button to um, update skin mesh, uh, which means simply uh, Akitsu will take in account this mesh, this mesh, um, see how they are uh, weighted, and uh, transfer all the skin on this mesh, delete them, delete them, sorry, and um, so you will have only this guy here. So it's pretty quick. Um, and then you have your, your skinning in this. But the problem with this method is that it deletes your assets. So prior to doing uh, this, uh, you have to uh, clone your asset um, simply by clicking there and duplicate your archive. Okay, and then you control click there, you replace, and then you have um, your um, helper skinned to the same um, weight. So it's one way to do things, um, of course. So if you are um, starting your skinning with the um, helper uh, meshes, so let's say you have 
full quad uh, assets, full um, uh, welded uh, parts and stuff like that. Um, you would have to then replace these uh, gray uh, mesh by um, the final one. So you will select this, which would be skinned, and uh, select these ones and uh, replace it. So I can do this quick if you want. Um, so let's assume I want to. Uh, I want to. Sorry. Uh, mm, get this guy here. Um, this leaves it on eight. Eight. So that it just to show you how it, it would work uh, for this first case. So, um, okay. So imagine you've got this. So you want to skin um, those two parts. So this one, this one, and uh, you skinned already your uh, character to this uh, solid gray mesh so here what you'll do is simply select both meshes and your helper and simply replace with the update skin mesh and then it's okay skinning would have been uh, transferred correctly um, but there is another way to proceed. So um, instead of using, um, uh, of, uh, sorry, of starting skinning uh, on this, you can also um, transfer weights from uh, one asset to the other. But to do this, you need absolutely to have uh, two characters. So let's duplicate this guy here. Okay, so now I've got the same character. Um, I will simply replace um, this mesh and this mesh here. Okay. So this way I will have this mesh with uh, correct influences, and by correct I mean here it's connected. So I will I will have um, a good deformation in this area because. Here I've got just one single vertex. And then to copy um, my weights, all I need to do is first um, click on my uh, source character. So uh, this will be my source character. You can rename it if you want. So we do this uh, like uh, source weights, for example. Um, so once it's selected, um, make sure you are in bind and check in both uh, characters. If you are in bind pose, you can't uh, edit skin weight, so it won't work. Um, then you hit uh, shift, you select uh, the vertices you want to um, copy. Then you can expand area with um, multiply um, and the numpad are using plus, uh, minus. Um, divide what you want, so make your selection. Um, then you simply hit Alt uh, plus C, or uh, you've got this here as, uh, as well, so copy weights. Um, here my vertices turn red. Um, not sure it's the same colors um, by default, so maybe that's something I've edited on my end, but you should see uh, vertices changing their uh, color. Then uh, you click on the um, target um, set and you will do exactly the same, except here you will select only the uh, vertices you want to affect. So I don't want to affect my hands, so I won't select my hands, uh, but I want to affect uh, this, for example. So I hit shift again, select a few vertices of my uh, sleeve. And then um, maybe, well, maybe I, I am sure I want to affect these parts as well. So I will not shift, but control, so I can add some vertices. Okay. Then I hit my um, multiply key, and if I want, I can remove vertices. I don't want to uh, affect. So for example, um, let's admit I've uh, perfectly worked out uh, my pants. And I don't want to edit this uh, once more. 
uh, I simply have to uh, I'll select my vertices and it's okay. I won't select the other leaf since it's perfectly mirrored. Um, I will simply have to to use the, um, the mirror skin and it will be okay. Um, so once my selections of uh, red and blue vertices is uh, completely okay, uh, I can hit Alt V or uh, click on this button and it will simply pop my weights instantly. And then I can get rid of this uh, temporary character and it will uh, transfer perfectly my weights here. It's pretty um, helpful if, uh, like me here, you need to have a um, modular character. So the goal for this one was to have uh, the possibility to change the uh, length of the sleeves. So I had to make separate meshes, of course. And since I didn't want to, to deal with um, a lot of uh, vertices everywhere, um, I, I could have uh, make a, a single uh, mesh. So with the torso and um, you know this um, MSH uh, cloth base here, so I could have weld um, both parts, but um, I figured out it was simpler to to have these assets and um, it's partly and uh, and yeah, since Sakitsu can handle this uh, transfer weights pretty easily, uh, it's completely okay to choose this method. So. Um, um, of course, this uh, can be used for um, a lot of other things. Uh, I've made a few tutorials uh, you can watch uh, about transfer skins, uh, notably for uh, twist joints. Um, so don't hesitate to take a look at this uh, if you want to learn a bit more about uh, how uh, skinning tricks can help you in Akitsu. Um, and um, and yeah, last things uh, to keep in mind is that um, work with uh, quad meshes for skinning. Um, it's okay to have uh, triangulated uh, meshes uh, in the end uh, because, for example, for this character, I need to have a um, specific triangulation method uh, for baking uh, my normal maps. So it's uh, vital to keep uh, the same triangles from the, the the modeling, the first modeling app to the end uh, rendering app, which in my case are uh, 3ds Max and um, Marmoset Toolbag or uh, Unreal Engine 4. Um, but when you skin your assets, uh, having triangles can limit uh, how uh, skinning and especially uh, smooth skinning um, algorithm um, functions. So um, it's best to work on quads and then transfer your skinning uh, over a triangulated uh, mesh than, um, rather than um, trying to skin over triangulated meshes directly. It can work in some case. Um, I found out uh, if you, you are dealing only with two uh, joints, it, it can work uh, pretty good. Uh, at least I didn't saw any uh, weird uh, deformations when I did this. But um, often you, you can experience some uh, breaks in your edge flows. So, um, for example, if you, if you, I don't know if you pull this here. So here I've got a few ones, just pretty, it's pretty decent and um, I, I don't expect to do this with the character. So it's, it's okay, but um, if you try to smooth this uh, manually, you will see that the smoothing uh, algorithm will completely mess up your uh, triangle. So you can start to have some wavy stuff. And um, here it's quite okay since the triangulation goes in the same direction uh, all along. But um, as you can see here, you've got a little break. And that's just because uh, triangulation changes. So here you've got a pike. Um, here I've got uh, one change uh, as well. So um, yeah, if you can use a quad mesh just to do your skinning and at the very end, just uh, transfer it to your triangulated mesh, it will be okay. When copy pasting weights, um, it's, it's okay to to start from a polygon and go over a triangle, and it's it's just about uh, gradients and stuff like this. So, 
it's okay. But um, yeah, smoothing has some issues with uh, triangles. And it's, it's the same everywhere, but uh, yeah, you can, you can fix this by using a quad mesh and it's okay. So um, I hope you've learned a few things and it, uh, I hope it uh, helped you uh, in some way. And uh, feel free to tell me if you have some more questions uh, about Akitsu. I, I would be very, very, very happy to, to answer you. And uh, of course, if you are French, don't hesitate. I am French too, and uh, I would be very pleased to, to answer you as well. Des bisous.